together we rose and came about and we addressed the issue. Uh, and, and we got a lot, few young ones here with us this morning. Thank you for coming. Again, you're going to have a great building, but it's the staff, uh, the parents, the adults in that building that make that building special. And, and we look forward to what we're going to be able to offer and provide not only in a new school, but hopefully throughout the district as we continue to grow and get better at what we do. So we're very thankful, very appreciative to everybody for all that they've done and all that they're going to do. Uh, I believe that this is going to be a fantastic facility, uh, not just because it's going to be a new building, but because of the people that are going to be in it. So thank you for everybody for coming today. If I could have hundreds of people vocally supporting this endeavor. We, we really did this with almost unanimous support across the board. Letters to the editor. Um, you know, Digi Radio, their, their people stepped up and talked openly on their use their voices on the radio show and talk about this and what, why this needed to happen. And as Matt said, folks, if, if we're going to make a difference in this community, this is where it starts. It starts with the community endeavor to decide something's important and make it happen. And this isn't the only thing we're going to be doing in the next 15, 20 years, not only as a school district, but as a community. If we want this sort of thing to happen, we all need to continue to stay invested in, in endorsing these projects when they come about because this is what will make Fort Dodge what we want it to be. Um, I also want to thank uh, uh, ISG, their folks are here, and, and uh, we put them on kind of a fast track too, asked them to put together things quickly so we could meet with the public and we could communicate effectively with the public. And I think we did. And again, board members, I'll, I'll thank you again for just uh, making sure that we had the accurate information we needed with the help of Dr. Danzal so we could go out to the community and make sure they understood what we wanted to do. And I hope everybody in the community thinks we were transparent. I don't know that everybody does, but we tried to do. I think it was that transparency that ultimately made a difference. This is going to be really, really cool. And it's going to give us opportunities as a school district and community to do some things we didn't always think we could do. So again, thank you all for being here. I want to take a look out, and I just want to make sure that I uh, thank a few people. I can't get everybody, but it seems like it's been a world of just a year ago. Uh, board members and, and Dr. Gonzalo, I think, Almost to the day, probably, we were sitting here panicking, looking at cracked walls and, and uh, crumbling structure. And it's amazing what's happened over the course of a year. And it couldn't have uh, happened, obviously, without the support of a lot of people. I just want to uh, mention a few of them. First of all, board members, um, thank you for putting this on a fast track, stepping above and beyond as volunteers, and uh, making the time commitment that it took to go to the number one. I'm sure we all would uh, be a little bit uh, sweaty. So. Glad that you are here. Uh, this is an exciting day for us, even though there's been a lot of excitement going on before this. Uh, we have several people that you see are going to speak to us this morning, and I'll come back up in just a little bit. This time I'd ask uh, Mayor Matt Bemmerich to come forward.